Good morning and welcome to Dockside Inn or Universal's Dockside Inn in Orlando. Today is Tuesday the 29th of August so it's our first day, first full day in to Orlando. We are under a storm watch, there was a tropical storm as of this morning that's been upgraded to a hurricane. It is due to hit Florida in the next few days, possibly strong winds from today. At the moment, well the sun's gone out, but this is what we're looking at. It's, well, it's about, I think it says it's about 26 degrees. So, if you watch my last video, you'll know we had an absolute nightmare of a day travelling from the UK. We wasn't alone. Um, I don't know how well I explained what actually happened because I was very tired. I think we was up for about 28 hours in total with the traveling. Um, so we had lots of issues, but the main one being was the uh, UK air traffic control system went down. So grounded a lot of planes for a lot of people. Their planes got di got diverted to mainland Europe. But for us, because we were waiting to take off, we sat on the ground. I think we took off just under four hours late. But anyway, we're here, so we got to the hotel. Instead of three o'clock in the afternoon, we got here about quarter to two in the morning. I've had about four hours sleep, but I'm awake. So the plan is, I'm travelling with my nephew. He's just having a shower, so it'll be about a month. We're going to go to one of the parks, assuming it doesn't start raining or anything. Go and do a few rides. Um, not sure which park yet. We'll have a quick walk around, uh, was it City Walk? Probably come back to the room. Well, actually, we're going to go and get some water and bits and bobs, just in case a hurricane hits and we can't leave. And then, probably this evening, we'll head over to the outlets, do a little bit of shopping. But again, it all depends on the weather. Uh, looking at what's going on with the hurricane, depending on what map you see, it looks like it's going to cover the whole of Florida. Another one will show that, for us anyway, it will come across Orlando. But I was reading the airlines are saying um, there's a couple of airports that are going to close today. Tampa being one of them, the other I can't remember. And they're saying that they're divert they're going to put in, put in extra flights on out of Orlando International to compensate. So if they're doing that. I sort of assumed that maybe we will personally miss the worst of the storm. Universal are saying the park's open as normal. And not that I'm going to Disney, but I checked Disney's website. They're saying at the moment the park's staying open as normal. So it looks like we might miss the worst of it. I mean, I hope everyone misses it, but in terms of us to enjoy a holiday and not lose days sat in with a hurricane, hopefully we'll miss it. So I just want to stop waffling on. So it's not going to be a long video today, um, but we'll take you along and see what happens. All right, I'll catch you later.
if you've never been to Universal, you do have to go through security checks. You have a bad check, just like you would at Disney. So we're just going into uh, City Walk, and then we'll decide which park we're going into. So I've picked a park, Universal Studios, because I'm tired, I can't really be doing with uh, long waits and thrill rides today, so we're going to do uh, yeah, some of the simulator rides that they've got in this park, hopefully get on the mummy, because when I was here last year, it was closed for refurbishment, so uh, I know an hour or so ago it was only a 10 minute wait, so we'll see. So it's the end of August 2023 when we're visiting. Uh, they are doing Halloween Horror Nights. I did try and get tickets, uh, but last time I checked, they were all sold out for the dates so I'm here. There is a new ride this year. Is it Minions Villain Con Minion Blast or something? 35 minute wait. That's a bit loud. So wait times have increased a little bit. Transformers was five minutes about an hour ago, it's 35 minutes now. And we'll have a party. Wait till I get past this. So Escape from Gringotts is showing 10 minutes. So we're just heading over to Diagon Alley. If it's 10 minutes, I'll get in the queue. So like I said earlier, I just don't have the energy. Yeah, you got Fast and Furious there. So Kings Cross Station is where you get the train across to the other park. This year I do have um, Park Hopper, so might even do that later today, we'll see. But there's a miniature version of Kings Cross Station. So if you're a big Harry Potter fan, Diagon Alley does get extremely busy in here though, so if you don't like crowds, you're not gonna like it. And there's Gringotts Bank. Will we get fire? So Gringotts is 15 minutes. We have to leave everything in the locker, so I'm not going to take you in with me, and I'll see you after. So just rode Gringotts. From the time of queuing up to riding it and getting off was 20 minutes. It is a good little ride, actually. I only rode it once before and I forgot how good it is. I will warn you, if you've never ridden it, it can be a little bit rough, so if you suffer with bad back, things like that, probably don't ride it. So we're heading out of Diagon Alley. We will uh, come back here and explore more another day, but for the moment, and sorry, I keep pulling faces. Um, I know some of you like to comment on how I look on here and, well, never mind. I do advise you download the Universal app to check wait times. Um, I'm going to do that when I get out of here. I'm just going to go and use the restroom first. And you lot don't want to see that. So just heading over to the mummy. The app says it's a 20 minute wait. It's one I've been looking forward to doing. I actually know very little about what sort of ride it is. So uh, if I look a little bit green when I get off it, then you know it wasn't really for me. So rode the mummy. It's advertised 20 minutes, it was 15 minutes. Again, similar to Gringotts, if you've never ridden it, if you suffer with bad back or anything like that, it, it, it's going to hurt, but I must admit, it's a fantastic ride. And as you will probably learn if you've watched, if you start watching my theme park vlogs, I am a bit chicken when it comes to uh, roller coasters and things. I enjoy them, but I don't like heights. Not that that was high, but it always worries me if I don't know what the drops and things are like. Saying that, it was absolutely fantastic, and I recommend you go on it.
So I'm just going to grab a, something, a snack to eat, and I think it's going to be Men in Black, 10 minutes. I want to do Transformers, but it's 35 minutes, so I'm not going to bother with that. So just uh, having a little snack, some garlic knots with, um, not really sure what the sauce is, and a drink from uh, Louis there. Three garlic knots was about three forty-nine or something like that in the drink, I don't know, five dollars, something like that. So just sit in a little nice corner here, out of the way. It's a bit quiet and actually a beautiful breeze. I think the wind's starting to pick up. So you could have pop into Men in Black. Uh, I think it's a 10 minute wait, anything to get out of this heat. Uh, I'm not going to film in there, just going to uh, try and kill some aliens. I just got off Men in Black. Even though it is a um, shoot 'em up type thing, if you don't like spinning, do not go on it. It does uh, spin you around a lot. It's great fun. Makes me laugh. So we're going to head round. Transformers is showing 25 minutes at the moment, and then might go back on the Mummy, which is 10 minutes. But I think we're going to call it a day soon. It's uh, where are we? It's half past one in the afternoon almost. I want to have a nap, or at least chill out on the bed recharge my batteries and then I think we're going to go down to the outlets this evening but don't worry I shall keep you with me it's definitely low crowd levels today I think a lot of locals are staying away due to the storm that's due to roll in whenever because they you know they, they all say something different I think it's due to hit tonight so uh, yeah it's good to, it's uh, low wait times So we're not doing Transformers, it went up to 35 minutes and as you can see I'm extremely tired so uh, we're going to see if we can get on the new um, Minion Villain Con on the way out. If not, I'm going to have a look in the Universal store and head back towards the hotel, um, maybe get a snack from uh, the food court there and a drink and then just chill out for a couple of hours. <laughs> So we're going to head out of the park now. We're going to go and have a look in the Universal store in um, City Walk. I might get some voodoo donuts depending on how much they are. My uh, camera is overheating, so I'm going to put you away. Bought the uh, refillable mug for in the hotel. It was uh, $19.99 for the duration of your stay. So for me, it was uh, for 10 days. And 
and there's uh, machines there in the back. And I got bacon double cheeseburger with fries, come to about 35 quid in total. Mind you, not very big. I've never seen rain like it. Good evening, just thought I'd finish this video off. I did go out to the outlets as the weather did let up for a while, uh, but I left my camera in the hotel because I'm a bit of an idiot. So that's going to be it for tonight. I'm going to go to sleep soon. We're expecting the, the edge of the storm to hit tonight and tomorrow with heavy rain. So we'll try and film it. Not sure if we'll actually be able to leave the hotel. But until then, hope you enjoyed this video and catch you next time.